Welcome to a morning prayer on a Wednesday, uh, which Christine and I are going to share morning prayer. If you want to follow it, you can use the Church of England app called Daily Prayer. But if not, you're just very welcome to share this time with us. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ. Let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Still in the Easter season, so we're going to go back and forth with the Easter anthems. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all. In living he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The light has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 13, we do the refrain together and then we'll go back and forth through it. So we say, You, you brought me up, up, O Lord, Lord from, from the dead. dead. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O oh Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O oh Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there, Claire, your faithfulness? Hear, O God, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. You brought me up, O Lord, from, from the, the dead. dead. Lord, you hide your face when we trust in ourselves. Strip us of false security and reclothe us in your praise that we may know you as the one who raises us from death, as you raised your Son. And now we're going to scroll down to the New Testament reading, which you'll see is Luke 15, 12 to 26. I think uh, I'll do the first Luke paragraph five. and you'll do the second. Luke right? 5. Well, Luke 5, you're quite right. <laughs> I did 10 on the tradition. Once, when Jesus was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. 
When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, show yourself to the priest, and as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases, but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. One day, while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then, some men came, carrying a paralysed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus, but finding no way to bring with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questionings, he answered them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, Stand up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralysed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately he stood up before them, took what he had been lying on and went to his home, glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, we have seen strange things today. Now it's usual that we pause for a moment to see if this passage has resonated, spoken to us, or how it's done so. So, um, anything in particular grab you today? I think in both paragraphs, both stories, that um, it's clear that faith delights Jesus. Mm. And the, the rather tentative, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. And Jesus very positively responding, I do choose, <laughs> be made clean. Um, and I think it's very poignant in the second paragraph um, because he was aware of the lack of faith and the distrust from the Pharisees. And just the sight of friends bringing hmm. their disabled friend to Jesus uh, was enough to lift his spirits. He saw their faith uh, and he, could, he can work with that, mm. really. Mm. Uh, it's, there's a sort of feeling of joy and excitement about his work. <laughs> That's brilliant. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. It's lovely. So let's move on to the uh, response read that follows. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We move down to a time of prayer and we're going to pray either out loud or quietly for a few minutes and then I'll move on to do the collect and we'll say the Lord's Prayer. So let's just pray as we choose. Thank you, Lord, that you call us to be faithful, like those friends who brought that man to Jesus. But the power lies in your hands, your choice. The power was upon him to heal, it said. And I just pray that today we may bring before you uh, the friends, the issues, the people that are on our hearts, and may entrust them into your power and your healing and your purpose. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, we pray for this next 
phase of um, the coronavirus and as we tentatively move forwards into uh, further freedoms. And we just pray for wisdom uh, from us all uh, and clarity from the government. And we just pray, Lord, that you would have your hand upon us as we enter this time of change. Amen. Amen. That's what we pray today for any who have decided to go back to work, for employers trying to work out how to make things happen, for people on public transport, for all those who've got to make little decisions that are significant, and for their families that may be worried about them. We ask your prayer, we pray your peace upon them. Mm. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord, on my heart today is Sudan, having heard that they, the World Bank isn't giving them any money towards their needs. And we pray for nations like them who are being marginalised at the moment, mm -hmm. that the powers that be, the authorities, the wealthy nations who are still people like us, will be willing to show them the hand of mercy and strength mm -hmm. and support for the sake of all those who are suffering. Mm -hmm. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Collect for today. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. So may the Lord bless you as you go out into this day.